Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jean-Yves Le Gall, president of CNES, the French Space Agency. It is a great honor and a great pleasure for me to share our excitement with you as we approach Thomas Pesquet's launch to the International Space Station from Cape Canaveral. In November 2016, Thomas lift off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on board the Soyuz spacecraft and spent six months on the ISS as part of the very successful Proxima mission. In a few days, he will be returning to the station on the Alpha mission, but this time from the United States on board a SpaceX Crew Dragon. We are very proud that he will be the first European astronaut to reach the ISS from American soil with an American vehicle since 2011. Proud and enthusiastic too, as he is set to break the record for time spent in space by a French astronaut and will be assuming the responsibility of commander of the ISS. As a French astronaut from the European Space Agency, Thomas is truly an ambassador of France and Europe's strong commitment to pushing back the frontiers of science and an advocate of our long-standing international cooperation in space. This year, CNES will celebrate its 60th anniversary. Since its inception in 1961, our agency has always worked closely with the scientific and industrial community to develop cutting-edge space solutions designed to improve our lives on Earth and to expand our knowledge of the universe. Thanks to the expertise on 2,400 people working at our four field centers in Paris, Toulouse and French Guiana, CNES is active in all domains of space, developing programs around five key pillars – launchers, science, Earth observation, telecommunications and defense. But CNES also firmly believes that such ambitious challenges can't be overcome without broad and strong international cooperation. In fact, international cooperation is deeply ingrained in CNES DNA. 100% of our programs are being pursued in cooperation with international partners, either bilaterally or on a multilateral basis through ESA. Since signing our first accord with NASA in 1961, we have reached more than 600 other agreements with 70 national and multilateral organizations around the world, spanning the full spectrum of space activities. Our representatives in Washington DC, Brussels, Berlin, Moscow, Tokyo, Bangalore, Abu Dhabi and Beijing are constantly seeking to consolidate cooperation with the agency's long-standing partners and to promote outstanding French know-how within the space community. CNES is delighted to count among its trusted partners the United States of America. Our long-standing cooperation with NASA and NOAA through major space programs since the dawn of the space age has brought about many valuable discoveries and advances in Earth observation, planetary science and space exploration. The landing of Perseverance on Martian soil on February 18 with its French main instrument SuperCam is one of the finest and most recent examples of what our nations can achieve together through cooperation and mutual trust. The ISS is another telling illustration of the common benefits that result from international cooperation in space, and we are glad that France is closely involved in the Alpha mission with 12 experiments in medicine, biology and fluid physics provided by the Cadmus Center for the development of microgravity applications and space operations. The support to CNES teams from Cadmus is crucial in helping Thomas to conduct his program of science experiments. CNES is also assisting four teams of students who have prepared Generation ISS experiments. Beyond the CNES teams, I am sure that the entire French and European community will have its eyes on Cape Canaveral on April 22nd, accompanying Thomas and his American and Japanese counterparts on their new mission, and we will all wish them the utmost success. Bon voyage, Thomas. Bon voyage, Crew 2.